I want us to um, kind of um, share uh, some, uh, you know, thoughts about what we have been through in the past one week, and then uh, give ourselves some advice as to um, what uh, we need to to do going forward. You know, after this, um, Aha is just now talking. Uh, so we want us to, we want to share impressions. We just take get a few impressions from some of you. We also get few from um, uh, large now. Maybe we take three, three or thereabout, and then um, we get uh, an idea of what you think this has been uh, all about, and what you think uh, for those of us who try to organize it. What advice will you give us going forward? But more importantly. What are you going to do now after this training? Now that you have been trained and you get your certificate, what do you want to go ahead and do? I've been told that, um, so we'll be passing the mic around for you to talk. Do not talk until you get the mic in your hand. Otherwise, the people uh, upstairs will not hear you, you know. So wait till you have the mic. And the same thing goes to the, uh, our ladies up there. Uh, please give the mic to somebody who's going to talk among you there and uh, let them receive the mic before they start talking. So like I said, we will share impression about the just completed training. Uh, we, it is important that we do not allow this thing to end here. You know, and this is why I've been very, as it appears, very strict about people who I think have not really paid attention. Because for them, for a number of us like that, they are just here to, you know, collect the uh, certificates. This is the problem with Nigeria, really. Uh, you have certificates, school start certificates, first degree certificates, master certificates, and uh, nothing, nothing follows it. And that is not what it's about, you know? Why this certificate is important, if not for, for that single reason, why it is important is that it gives you access. It gives you access to some other things like, um, you know, funding, support, internship, and the like. If you remove that, certificate is not important. What is important is what you have learned and how you are going to use that knowledge. Even if you don't certif certify you, if you, can, if you have learned one thing, and you can go ahead. I mean, there are some of my, our members during the course of the program that were giving insights into what they are doing already. They, didn't, we, they have not been certified by us, but they are already practicing it, you know? So it's not so important that uh, you get certificates, but which is what some people think this is all about. Ah, me, I have to put down my name, so I will get certificate. And then at the end of it all, what, what happens? How does that, it's not, it doesn't add value actually to your life if you cannot take this one forward. If you can, at the end of it all, at the end of the day, do something practical with the knowledge so that uh, your, your financial, because it's, look at the theme, empowerment through agripreneurship. Will you be empowered after the, It's what you are able to do with the knowledge that um, uh, is important. So, like I said there, I said start something, however small. Start something. Start something. We are having an idea, for instance, and we are going to let our legendary people do it. The space between this uh, building and the toilet there, there is a space behind the mosque. Let somebody start planting something there. Somebody has suggested that they can grow um, purple there, and underneath it, they can grow vegetables. And you'll be surprised that if they do it well, what they can make from that place, instead of allowing the, the land to, 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 to lie fallow. So we are expecting some large now members, residents here, to take it up. Take it up and say, okay, we will uh, start planting there. Somebody has volunteered to give them uh, purple seedlings. And Okay.
the uh, what is it called? The motto of uh, Smedan is start small, grow big. Start small, grow big. I will, I can't tell you the number of people that have come to me. A doctor, uh, I want to start. I said, okay, so what's the idea? Uh, so 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 that I want to do is poultry. Is this how much would that cost? 1.5 million, 2.5 million. Eh, I said, so. I'm sorry, I won't be able to help. And someone was telling us, with uh, 25,000, you can start something. Start there. Make all the mistakes. While on it, see how it comes out. If you have a lot of money, you will waste a lot of money. But you have small money. You can make it do something. In fact, I have a friend who used to be work in the same place. He was preparing for his retirement. And he has a farm. There is nothing is not growing on that farm. He's into fishery, into livestock, into uh, goose raising, into um, turkey raising, into cassava. They are making gari. Into... And I told him, I said, this is too much now. To start with, we have not even there. He's in Abuja and he has a farm here. And the thing will collapse. The best way to go about business is look at all those dangote all of them. They pick one line of business. Make a success of it. It's the profit from this one that they put on the next one. Profit from the one they put on the next one. Profit from the one they put on. And that's how they expand. And now when they have three, four lines that are doing well, banks will be coming to you. They'll be knocking on your door, begging you to come and take loan. All of them. They beg them to come and take loan. Because then they now look at your, uh, what do you call it, cash flow. They see the streams of income. Ah, we can give you loan. We know that uh, within months you generate whatever we give you. And you can start. But somebody like you and I that don't have anything before, you go to them and say, no, where is your cash, cash flow? Let us see what your cash flow looks like. If you don't have anything cash flow, our banks will not give you. They will not. If you happen to know somebody there that can guarantee, they will go and look at the account of that person. Okay, so if this guy fails, we can pounce on your own money. They, then they give. But minus that. Because they, they will say, you have not run it before. We don't know what it means. So how can we entrust you with shareholders' money? They won't say it's their money. Shareholders' money. You know, start small. Make the mistake because there is nothing... We do. We are not, we are just human beings. You may mean well, but you naturally make mistakes. You haven't done it before. So make the mistakes, correct it, and then if it does well, then expand it. But to wait till you have uh, two million before you start something. The other thing that we want to talk about is um, we need to establish network and linkages between ourselves. You know? The, all the lecturers have shared their telephone numbers. And if you start something and you are going, you have a problem, phone them. Oga, I have more, a lot of students in their country, problem by any money, they'll be glad to share this knowledge with you. You know, don't let it start and end here. Even among ourselves, we have already uh, established a platform. If you have a problem, post it there. So, me, I have this problem, oh. Is there anybody who has gone through it and solved it and uh, can advise me on how to go about it? And it's not only for problems, as we are going to be talking here. If you have um, ideas, opportunities that others can benefit from, don't eat it alone. If you produce too much egg and the market in your area is not good, post it on the platform. Me, I have a go, please, so can <laughs> somebody come and if you need egg in your area. And then you start talking, okay, how much are you selling? Okay, if you add transportation, how much will it be? Does it pay you? Okay, send me so much. So we need to network. We need to establish linkages among ourselves. So collect everybody's phone number because you don't know who you will need. So it shouldn't start here and end here. And if you don't have anything, like I said, we established the WhatsApp, oh, put it there, post it. If it's a problem, post it there. And I've seen that that has already started. 
If you see an idea that you think is worthwhile, share with people. Your own doesn't, it doesn't mean that uh, once somebody else has it, then you won't get it. No. So share it, and God can even, on the basis of the fact that you are willing to share with people, bless it for you. But why you eat it alone? Chop alone, die alone. You know? So establish network and linkages. And then share news of opportunities. I've already said that. Highlight challenges for possible solutions by other participants. They may have gone through that challenge before you and they have found a solution to it. So if you put it there, they may be able to now say, okay, ah, well, I had it too. This is what we did. You know. So now as I be on the lookout for international training and work opportunities. As soon as we get work opportunities, you know, training opportunities, we will post it. And if you, just like uh, we, we were cautioning ourselves, you see some of these things that come from dubious sources, you know, that you cannot be too sure. You know, uh, if we, as much as possible, we can do our due diligence and we, uh, we notice don't, they, we won't send it. So if you are going to send things to, do some little bit of due diligence. Some from reputable organizations. Check. Anybody who says, come and take uh, 500,000 for, for this thing. Check the organization. Do they have an internet presence? To be able to give you. So because they know we are desperate for jobs, and they do all manner of things. There was a colleague of my daughter at their workplace. Of course, you know, things with human beings. We are always complaining. Always complaining. Ah, they have a job, but they say it's not uh, what? Huh? No, please. Tell the person you will come back later. If you are praying, call. He will, he, will, he will call you back. Call him back. So, this colleague now got a, a job in the U.S. Ah, everybody was happy for him, blah, blah, blah. They, Everything, bring your family, bring your this and that. And the, the pay is more than mouth watering. So when my daughter got home, I told me, I said, hmm, this kind of job, still available, tell him to be careful. Because there are a lot of uh, things like this, and they come to Nigeria because they know we are desperate for money without doing much. Somebody just tell you, ah, you'll be earning $120,000 per month. Ah! A lot of them out there, especially from Asia, they get to there. They will pay for your ticket and everything and go and, go and harvest your organs. It's, it's rampant. Very rampant. Nothing comes easy. So once you see something too easy, be careful. Be careful. It turns out it was uh, just... Uh, Fake uh, whatever. He, she, he sent her to come and thank me. That daddy said it to me. So they know there, because we are desperate, there is no job. As you see, even they do it in Nigeria. They pay you, come to a hotel, there is an interview there, this and that, and you go there, that will be the end of the thing. The, at the end of the person. And they are, so they are telling people, if you are going anywhere, tell people, we are, when you get there, have you have reached, oh, we are here, oh, is this hotel, oh? You know, we live in very perilous times. And people are ready to exploit the, you know, our inadequacies or our desperation. So we have to be careful. So what I, why I was saying that is that let's do some bit of due diligence and then we can post it and people can, you know, if it's So I said, let us all make efforts to ensure that the, the efforts of the Jamaat. What? You want to? No, don't urinate. Could you urinate? You just finished praying. Huh? You are a young man. Do you have uh, diabetes? It's old man like me that can go say you want to do and you want to go and do food. Where you go? Uh, God is seeing you. You know. So let us uh, do. It's what we do with the training that will ensure 
that the efforts and the expense by the Jamaat and the trouble that we ourselves have taken ourselves through. I mean, we are only alone, sleeping in a crowded mosque, eating ogilara raw. You know, toilet facilities not too good. But you know why you are doing it? Why you are going through it? No, no pain, no gain. So you went through the pain. And if you let it end here, you have just suffered yourself for nothing. If you just let it end here, so you have suffered for nothing. So, and then the effort of the Jamaat in spending money in, you know, see the trouble we gave Ilani Jamaat people. They have never, at a, any point in time, hosted 150 people at a go. Doing what? For what? They are not our JASA ground or workshop ground. Those are our big events. You know? So, and we went them to, the women have not been sleeping, you know, cooking and everything. And then you now learn everything. And then that's the end of the matter. Because you have collected the certificate. So it's not a certificate that matters. If it uh, allows you to get some access to the, and that is a trial. Even that money. Because if you get this money and you don't do anything with it, there are few grants. Mostly they are loans. And we have been receiving letters in the Jamaat. People tell the Jamaat to come and help them. They, they took loan. They can't pay back. How will Jamaat pay you? I help you out with the loan you took. We have received letters like that. Members that they are taking loan to build this project and they, there was a problem. Can the Jamaat help? Jamaat cannot help you. So know that one from here. And that is why it's important you listen when we are giving the lectures. You learn form the linkages if you run into a problem before it gets too bad, quickly, you know, get out, talk to people, ask questions. Somebody can help. If you start seeing uh, your poultry, one bird die, two die, quickly shout, my birds are dying, you know. What can I do to quickly even stop it? Do I move them out or whatever? Or my fishes are dying, you know. Or my uh, cassava is showing this kind of color on the leaves. You know, so all these things, you know. So don't let it start and end here. That's just my preaching. So I think uh, we'll stop uh, and go and prepare for Ashri. I wish we could continue, but we didn't say Ashri. And then when we come back, I've done the talking. Then we, we now take, get uh, reactions from you. And if you need to react again, we will react, you know. But this is the message we want to pass. But we need to know, hear from you what has been your impression of the whole thing? How do you think we could improve on things? And don't talk about food is not this. It's not about food. Or the sleeping quarters, no. That wasn't the idea. No. We are Ahmadis. We, I, I was telling somebody, when we first started going to uh, Jasa with our dad, we were sleeping in the car throughout. Car. And the uh, mosquito will finish us there, but we are still alive. You know? So yeah, no pain, no gain. You, you've gone through the pain. Don't let it waste, you know, by making sure that after this war, after today, when you get back to wherever. So we announced a few opportunities that are already available. Uh, I've talked about the vegetable garden here that we know, that we want a large number person to take over. Then one member told us he has left now, but I've told him to formally write to us. He said that they have land available in a village not too far from Ife, say about five, ten minutes from Ife. He mentioned the name, I've forgotten it. That they want cooperatives who want to uh, engage in agricultural production to come. So you will need to form cooperatives of, I think the cooperative is minimum of five or thereabout. Is it ten? Minimum of ten, maximum of twenty. Aha. Uh -huh. So if you form cooperatives, they say they have land that they can give you to do agriculture. So if land is your challenge, because you may not say, yeah, I want to do something, I don't have land. But of course, it means you have to be around the uh, Ife. You can't be farming in Ife and be staying in Lagos or Ilaro. So, but they say they take cooperatives. So people, uh, even if two or three of your members are there, they'll be over they be supervising, coordinating what you do. Somebody must, some people must be there while the rest may be there. 
So th there is that opportunity. I've told him to write to us formally. If he writes, we will post it on the web on the this thing. And those who want to, with all their conditions. Then there is um, another opportunity, brother uh, Ahmed Akidele. Fine, he's going to talk to us when we come back. He's into agri already. He has the opportunity uh, to get agro farmers to produce water yam and potatoes. You produce, you can be sure of markets. He got a big contract running into millions. And he wants people that will produce it and supply to him so that he can supply to people giving the contract. So if you can produce what I am or produce, I think it's sweet potato. Yeah. If you can produce it in your area, if you have your land to produce it, uh, he will talk to us about it. I asked him whether he will give money for seed or whatever. I said, no. Go ahead and produce everything, but they, will, they assured you that they will buy everything. And I told him, if you are going to use any of our people here, you have to sign agro uh, purchase agreement with people. Not for you to produce, finish, use your money, use your time, use your land. And then someone say, eh, eh, you know, sorry. No. Whether you have money, on, you have to buy it at the agreed price that you have agreed before. So that's an opportunity that is going to talk to us about when we come back. And when we receive all, all such kind of opportunities, we will post it with all the conditions. And whoever can join, join. If Jamaat wants you to be financially independent. I'm not coming to Jamaat, hey, Jamaat, come and do this for me. No, Jamaat is not structured like that. I've said that one two, several times already. But these are the kind of opportunities we can provide for you. And among us, people get opportunities. Share it with people. So we talk about that. So please, let's go and pray. Those are the three that we still have. And if anybody still have anyone among you here that you want to share with us when we come back, share it with us. Let others know. Go and think about it. And if they want, they can join and, uh, you know, benefit from the opportunity. So we go and say our answer prayers. And then when we come back, then we start talking among ourselves. Jazakumullah Hayran. And if there are questions, the one we can answer, we will answer. And then we go on. So we'll be taking it three, three from the two sections uh, as we proceed. So, uh, those who want to talk here, let's give ourselves numbers. Those who want to talk. Those who want to talk here, raise your hand so that we can give you numbers. For the first time, it looks like people don't want to talk. Okay, I'm sure large number of people who want to talk. Nobody's talking downstairs. Oh, okay. Ahmed, you have to talk anyway to let us know. So, Ahmed, number one, number two, number three. So, we have three here. So, we'll take the three here and then come up to Lajna to have their own uh, impressions. Are people telling me they don't have general impressions about this whole course? They have just come to listen and, and that's just it. We'll come back anyway. I'm sure by the time... Uh, number four, number five. Please remember your number. We'll come back. So, number one. Number six. Oh, yeah, number one, come, come. Please give him the mic. Please, let's listen. Is that? Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, I think I should just speak about my impression now, not about the proposal, maybe later. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, I want to appreciate the organizers of this program. It is the first of its kind, and of course, it is um, the standard, it's, it's, um, it's welcome, and I think going forward, it will always, there will always be improvement. Um, Agripreneurship workshop, I don't think... Um, what we have gained from here, there's nothing to hard to eat in order agricultural workshop. And the people that have come here, I think they came with passion. You can see the, our lecturers, they were saying, the young man that came yesterday, you can see the way he said it, I was saying it correctly because I'm into it too. And um, what brought me here 
because um, this is Jamaatin, and I know the Jaman, we don't tell ourselves lies. We try as much as possible to do things which we don't. And this is what I've been doing several years. And I said, okay, come in here, I'm going to learn from there. And at the same time, what um, Neba Menu said, I'm going to share it with us too. On this project, on this program, I want to give it 99.9% um, in terms of the lecturer, in terms of the package, in terms of um, MBS and all what we're doing here. And I just want to hope that it's not the Jara should sustain it. And the plan you have that we're going to, this group we have, like he has said, we should form a group and don't let it go down. And I want to assure us, even Yoruba says that and there's no mana and salwa again. Whoever eats rice here, somebody has still land, either in Thailand, either in Brunei, whoever eats yam here, somebody has still land, either in Akure or somewhere. So that is to say that, and if we surprise food from this thing, I don't think we'll be smiling with ourselves now. That will be a problem. So this project is a good one. I just want to pray that we should sustain it. We should take it serious. And when we go back home, at our backyard, do something with the vegetable. Organic vegetable is valuable to ourselves. Let's even sell. Before you even sell, secure yourself first. I give an instance of myself doing coronavirus because I had fun. So people are shouting, hey, if, I, if I can just escape from my house to the farm, you don't have issues. Miracle will happen. Because if it is planting, I will get. If it's cocoyam, I will get. If you are shouting that uh, something's happening, I don't even know something's happening, coronavirus, because the farm is there. If it's vegetable, I will pick. So don't let us waste land now. Let us declare operation, use the land for agricultural purposes. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Number two. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, I would like to register my sincere gratitude to the organizers of this program. Maybe mention your name first, please. My name is Abdumumin Muftaudin. So I would like to, organize, um, to um, thank the organizers of this program. Um, of course, it is a sure way to um, save reliance, as it has been said over and over again. So, we, I really thank them for um, organizing this great program. I wouldn't know, but I guess this is uh, the biggest and the best of all, all along the Jamaat has organized. So, um, I would like to retrace the point of um, the Naib Amir Saab as regards um, getting, to, getting more knowledge from the lecturers and hostels. So I would like us to always check through the handouts given so that it will serve as a kind of guide to um, our venture into the program. I myself am an undergraduate and I don't stay at home. So I think I have less opportunity to go into this or to venture into agriculture. But if I have or if I get the privilege to get some people, we can form a co-room together, um, a forum or a cooperative, I can easily get into that even being an undergraduate. So it is not something so hard for us as undergraduates to go to farm on Saturdays or Sundays or whenever we have the time and get something done ahead of future. Also, my father engages in um, subsistence and farming. And at times when things get harder, he has to sell from his farm produce. So I have into mind and I intend to, um, when I get back home, maybe for this Salah um, um, festival, so I have it in mind to explain to him all I've been able to gain here. I wanted him to be here, actually, but I think I couldn't just communicate well with him. So because of that, he's not here. So I have it in mind to go home and um, lecture him and, in fact, give him the, um, the handouts for him to read and then scale up or upgrade his subsistence farming into something um, more better. Thank you. Number three. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mr. Ganyo, Allah dea indi, Allah dea indi. First of all, I want to appreciate the organizer of this very big opportunity program that rendered to people across the nation. It's not easy, but it's, we, I know that if you don't have passion and belief and faith, you won't come here. For traveling across the nation is a risk. Are you getting me then? Being here, staying here for five days is also a risk. Why did I say that? It's a risk is that 
you left your family at home, you are here, you don't know what is going on there. Even your family, just while you are talking through the phone, they don't know physically what is happening to you. But you took the risk just to betterment of your family, your life, and the nation. I want to thank this organizer of this program once again. I say thank you. May oh, Almighty you Allah, you want in his infinity blessing, calling to shower his mercy <laughs> and his protection and his okay, grace brody, on you all. Amen. Now, I have a little contributions, being an experienced uh, poultry farmer. Uh, I asked a question from the facilitator last time, that uh, most especially about the chicken. As he said, I, I, we and my colleagues today will discuss little about that. That uh, there's another way that we can start poultry farming, most especially uh, that young uh, rearing at tender age with a little amount. We call it breed and sell, four weeks. Four weeks. This one is not for processing. You rear it for other people around you to buy two or three. You can start with 25 pieces of broiler. You can start with 50 pieces of broiler. You read for five, uh, four weeks, start selling it. I said that day that I read four weeks at the rate of 1,200 of broilers. You can sell cochre also, 17 naira per day old, at the rate of 200 naira after four weeks or two. No matter how, you will gain minimum of, let's say broiler, minimum of 500 naira per one if you do it very well. Are you going to, so, Instead of going for six weeks, whatever, you can put that one also as another opportunity to start very little. Very, very little. That method I do give my, let's say, my customers or <laughs> that if you start little, that's a method. When you start selling your feed that you are giving them, start packing it little. When you sell one chicken, sell this or take this uh, little quantity. 200 naira. You can buy this tonic, go and get 100 ml of uh, plastic, pour it there, 150. You make a lot of money. You can buy a drug, I will prescribe for tie this in small line loan. Ah, mommy, if you see your chicken, put in this type of color. This is the drug you are going to give. I also train them to learn more about the disease control, infection control, and everything. All these things is part of learning. So you can start as little as that. So I just want to include this opportunity for us to put it at the back of our mind. We can start. You don't need to open a, have a big room. You can have a wooden cage and do it there. That one can also help. So that's a little contribution. There are many, but I'll just, we can't continue saying it. But this one I know is very also simple to go into and start earning as little as money you want to support your business. Thank you very much. Yes, Oh, we're going to know. Sorry, please. We'll be going next to the, uh, to Lajna. I said we we'll take three here, take three up. But I like um, the last point he made about uh, exploring the, if you like, uh, poultry value chain. That's what he tried to do now. He's growing them four weeks, he sells them. But he didn't stop there. They need drugs, they need feeds, they need little, little things that he buys in bulk and sells them to the people who buy one or two chicken. And you end up making more money even from those spoons than even the chicken itself. And so you just have to start something, you know? In fact, if you do so well, you may even forget selling the chicken entirely and become a livestock a drug and a feed a seller. And that's what they know you for. And the important is to make your money legitimately uh, without, uh, so thank you very much for sharing that. So Lajna, can we have the first person to share their observations with us? Okay. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Fatima Atijani. I'm very happy. Alhamdulillah, well, I mean, thank you to Almighty Allah for making this program a successful one. I can see that we're getting to the end of the program. And also give thanks to the organizing committee as well as our lecturers. May Almighty Allah continue to guide them. I um, mean, so, um, since I've been here, since Wednesday, I've been laughing, honestly speaking. And I did not know that I'm going to be here. 
because I got the message on Sunday. So I did not know that it's going to be, it's going to be something that is going to be exposed like this. So when I got here, I saw the program and I viewed the uh, handouts given to us. Honestly, on Thursday also, I was very happy. I've been dreaming of what I'm going to do. And I know that something great is going to come out. Together with the lecture they gave us, as well as the, uh, the program given to us. So I want to ask uh, about whatever one that we lay our hands upon. I pray that we will not have problem, but if there is maybe a little problem, can we call on the lecturers or anybody or anybody that we know that can try to tell us something about it, sir? As you can talk about that. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, before you give it to the next person, I think we've already, I already mentioned, uh, talked about the question you asked, uh, but what I find surprised you said you didn't know you would come. It means you didn't fill the online form. Because that's where we started the process. There was an online form that people were supposed to fill. And then we were now shortlisted before. But it's okay. You have come, you have come. We thank God that you are here. Now you said uh, if you run into problems, whether the, if you contact the lecturers, they, that's what I said. You have several avenues open to you. Now that you have been trained, you must have uh, your name, probably, I don't know now that you talk about the way you came. Otherwise, a WhatsApp portal was open for all participants. If you are not on that WhatsApp portal, see, the, see Brother Kabil with your phone number so that you can be included in the group. And that portal, uh, I said, you can even share your problem there. We have a big time poultry farmer here. If he is on the platform, if you mention your problem and he has chances to see it, he can give you the answer. You know, that's one way. Another way is that you said you could, you could go to, uh, get across to any of the lecturers that, um, you know, uh, share their phone numbers with you. If it's into fisheries, the secretary NSTC himself is a fishman. You know, big time fishery person. And he has seen it all. As far as fish is concerned, you can have his number. He's also on that platform. If he's the one, if you post your problem on that platform, if he sees it, I'm sure he will respond. So you have several opportunities open to you. I have members there too who have gone through the same experience and by God's grace they are able to surmount it. They should be able to share their knowledge. So so many avenues of solving your problem. So you can give it to the next person now. Please, if you mention your name, also mention the Jamaat you come from. Okay. Yeah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikum salam warahmatullahi My name is Mrs. Akinlade Kauza from Owode. Owode. So, my... Well, we really appreciate. I do pay giddy giddy gun, so. Don't go to my calls, that's a new way. I'm not being a woman, so you're about. Ah. So, don't go to my calls, that's a new way. I'm going to go over so, I'm going to say, I want to join through Zoom. She, Tabamo. Taba mo lara won sha se a le ba won gba certificate won so akoko niyan elekeji ni npe gbogbo gbogbo awon ti won wa ton wa ko wa i really appreciate bo nkan kan lo ni mo won ko ye ko tun wa nbe bi veterinary doctor so ton ma fun wa ni talk lori pe okay i san yin lo to ba nse rabbit Ogunti e ma fun ni so me so okay thank you very much thank you very much um your first question about those who join online my impression of those who join online is not particularly you know favorable most didn't stay online 
So we took um, records and we are going to assess it and see if people really stayed online. I know there could be challenges, you know, network connection, connectivity issues, you know. And the few times that I tried to join while we are in session, I saw just five, six, three, four, plus me, plus the host. So if you remove the host and me, you, mean you are talking of three, four, two people, you know. And people just think if they log on online once, they can then say they have joined. Their case is worse. Worse than the people here, because at least you are here, and even if you go to the mosque, I mean to the toilet several times, or sleep in the mosque, we still see you, still come back to the, you know, occasionally, we cannot, uh, but if you are joining online, and you, are, you do not leave an online presence over time, the, I've told you when I started, the idea is not for the certificate. The mere fact that they have even missed the practical session puts them at a serious disadvantage. So what do you get the certificate for? Just like you get your school certificate, your first degree certificate, that you cannot do anything with it. People have first degree and they cannot get jobs. They go for interview and they, are, they disappoint the interviewers. And they just think, oh, I'm a graduate of so-so-so. That, that's, we should begin to disemphasize certificate. I told you, if not that this particular certificate opens opportunity for you to get fund, to get internship, uh, you know, we probably wouldn't, uh, you know, bother about the certificate. But then, it's part of their mandate, once they train, because they are accredited institutions, anybody they train can. But then, you didn't even sit down to do the training. So, on the strength of your certificate, somebody gave you money to go and do something, and you mess up. And it's loan. You are lending yourself in trouble. You can't run back to the Jamaat and say, you trained me and gave me a certificate and with it I got money but now I now have a problem. Come and bail me out. Is it not better that you, do, you don't get the certificate so you don't go and get the loan? So you, we need to think this through, please. Certificate is not the, what we are after. How many graduates of universities finished their education? Four, five, six years and are still looking for jobs outside there. How many? So many. Many parents. There is hardly any home in Nigeria where you don't have graduates that are jobless. If it's just certificate, why did they not get a job? So these people come online a few times and then think they will get certificates. I'm not too sure about it. Then the other one you are talking about, much as... Uh, they want to, all of the lecturers, I'm sure, told us there yeah, that the course they are giving us ordinarily should last for four weeks, three weeks, four weeks, three months. You now do it in one week. It's a crash program, and you want them to cover everything. That's one side to your question. The second side, you also want to take the job of veterinary people from them. Because when you now know the veterinary job, how will they make money? Their father and mother send them to school to go and become veterinary doctor. Then you come and do one week course. And then you, no, it doesn't work out like that. I have a ranch, you know. I still take vet people to come and look at my ranch once every month. Because they have to eat too. So it's part of the thing you have to, you can't know everything. And some people have to, uh, uh, some people have to also eat through you. You know, vet doctors must be able to earn something. And even if they teach you, you can't know all the intricacies of the profession. So, uh, yeah, if you have problems like that, post it out. If they are simple problems, yeah, they will, uh, they will solve it for you. They will tell you how to go about it. If they are more serious, they will probably tell you, better go and see doctor, even when they are advertising on radio, uh, they tell you how Panada is very good for everything. But they say, if the symptoms persist for three days, go and see your doctor. Otherwise, doctors will take them to court and say, ah, if you can solve all the problem, what do you want to leave for us? So please, um, even if they are able to 
take you through some of those things. It's better to bring in professionals. You will know that if you don't, it may be penny wise, pound foolish. You save some money from not spending for vet, uh, doctors, but the, 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 the effect of it may be more serious. So um, if it's small, small problems, yeah, tell people they can solve it from you. But if it's more serious, get uh, vet doctors that can assist or uh, people more experienced. Thank you. Give it to the third person and final person before we mm. come down. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So my name is uh, Kazim Muinat Olanike from Ilori Jamaat. So I want to join other members by thanking the organizers of the program. I, I think we can dispense with that one. Jazakumullah khairan. So uh, my first comment will be on the presenters. When they came to give us the presentation, they mentioned that they are going to give us the handouts. The handouts for their presentation. But we only received that of egg and ugu. So I'm, I don't know if we are go we'll be able to get others, especially for the broiler and the other uh, productions. So thank you for that. Then, uh, number two, I want us, uh, I want the organizers to make available all the phone numbers of the presenters available to us. They mentioned some, but not all of them. It is very important that I recommend that we call them individually and thank them and establish a relationship with them even before we leave this place. By establishing a relationship with them, they already know you, that, okay, I was in the program and all that, thank you. So anytime you want to go uh, into implementing all what they have done, uh, they have taught us, you can easily call them and ask them questions. It's not only when we need their help that we call them. So when we establish just first initial relationship, then there will be a follow-up, uh, you know, question. When you want to set up your own uh, business, then you can call them and they'll be ready to assist you. So I think we should, each one of us should do that. So there are no, phone numbers should be made available to us. Then, concerning, you mentioned before we went for the solar that the land that is available behind the mock, that one of the large nations, I'm ready to take up that. Jazakum Lahara for giving me that uh, opportunity. So I want to know, because uh, during the presentation, they, uh, the presenters mentioned the soil requirements for the proper production. He mentioned that it must be a well-drained soil, it must be lighter soil, and all that. So I'm not sure if that land is suitable for the purple. So I don't know how we are, I'm going to go about that. Then also the seedling for the purple production. How will I be able to get that? Inshallah, I'll be ready to do that. Jazakumullah khairan. Barak Allahfi. Thank you very much, madam. Um, I will uh, let uh, the secretary, Sanatu Tijarat, um, respond to your last uh, point. But as to the first one, handouts. Yes, we wanted to give handouts. But um, the world has gone digital, actually. So what we, we wanted to, we started with giving some um, hard copy handouts. Imagine, you know, some of the ones you got, seven page, five page, three page, times 140, 150 people. Just imagine it. We even tried to be smart. Luckily, the Jamaat has a photocopier. And so we went to buy toner, buy paper. And the, each time they put on the, they are running the machine. It was affecting even the um, generator because it's so powerful. Okay. You know, that's why we stopped it. The cost as well as its effect on the, what we are going. And then we resolved that all the papers, once we collect them, we will post them on that WhatsApp platform. And we have been doing that. So you can read from there. It's the same thing. Uh, they even keep better uh, than the paper that you have. You can place it somewhere. You won't lose your phone. 
Except, of course, if uh, something happens, and God forbid, we don't pray anything to happen to steal or you know somebody steals or whatever. So we are, uh, and I can assure you, as soon as we get, if we haven't gotten some, but whichever one we get, we will post it there. So that's why we said people should be constantly on that platform, see what is going on. There will be messages, there will be information, there will be uh, new videos of things we, we think can benefit you, uh, books, pamphlets, lecture notes, uh, whatever we get, we'll be posting it there. And it's not only even Sana to Tijarat people, even among yourself. If you get something that is useful, I've already said it, you know, post it there. So that's the way, that's the answer for handouts. As for phone number says, yes, we will provide it. When we collect it also, we can share it with you on, um, when we do a comprehensive list of them, share it with you, their names, their, uh, where they work, and their phone numbers, possibly even email if you have. We share it on the WhatsApp platform for you to um, have access to. So it's, that platform is going to be a live platform. It's a very active platform that you should continuously, uh, because things will be posted not only by us, but even from among you, you know. So anything you get, you want to share with us, please put it there. So on, on pop up, soil analysis and all that. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Wa alaikum. Concerning the purposed links, that's very, very easy to get. So just let me know the quantity you need and supply you at a very low cost. Concerning the land is to in front of the mosque here, all you need to do is to apply chicken drops to the land there, and then let it be wet very, very well with the ground. Let the chicken drops get soaked to the ground. That's all we need here. Sir, we can't hear you properly. Sorry? I can't hear you properly. Okay. On the seedlings, I have them in abundance. So we talk about it in private about that. So With regards, she should see you. Okay, yes. Yeah. With regards to the land here, all you need to do is to apply chicken drops to the land. Get it soaked very, very well, and then mix it up. That's the end of it. It's already manured. Are you clear with that? Are you clear with okay. that, madam? Well, yes, if you didn't sir. get it, once you see him, he's the brother Gazal. He will explain this to you as to have to prepare that land to take. Don't, it's going to be for dual purpose. Uh, mind you, it's not only for purple, but also for vegetables. So that you can maximally. Because if you plant purple now, how many months? Nine, Nine months, months before it starts. Aha. You know. So what do you do? Meanwhile, you can raise. Two, three crops of vegetables while at it. Yes. So I think you start with uh, while you get uh, see him, and he will put you through all this. But thank you for taking that offer. Exactly. And next time I come back to Ilori, I want to eat uh, vegetable from that garden. <laughs> Inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you very much. So we have three there. Number four here. You no, know, we have already taken numbers. When we uh, ah, don't break this one. Oh. It's not our own. No, it's uh, the, for them to see. Why is it? Uh, they have been doing it, they never come down like that. Okay, so number four. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum Please use the mic. I want to uh, thank the organizers of the program, most especially the Jamaat. Are they hearing? I said, I want to uh, uh, I want to appreciate the Jamaat and as well the organizers of the program for uh, this wonderful project. May Almighty Allah continue to strengthen the Jamaat. Uh, first and foremost, I want to uh, make a request for from the organizers of this program. I know we have um, we have benefited a lot. But like uh, Noi Bahami, respected Noi Bahami Saab have rightly said, um, there will still be a lot of follow-up with us. But I think uh, uh, performance level and growth level 
to, should also be one of the concern so that we can really uh, know that this project, this project that started uh, with this um, uh, program, with these lectures, actually yielded positive results. So that by living here, we not just for us to just live alone, but the organizers should also know at what level are these people making use of this um, uh, training they have learned so that they can also measure the success rate of the project. So that's number one. Number two, um, actually, uh, my own motive of coming to the project was because, uh, of, the, because of the challenges surrounding um, a Greek uh, uh, project. I've always had phobia for a Greek. So I've, been, uh, I've done fishery in the past, and I think I've also done, uh, been into the value chain. The value chain that I did then do was when I was a copper, when I bought plantain from Ifo in Ogun State down to Yobe State. Quite all right. Uh, I, seem, I, I was able to break even then, though I could not make profit. But I know it's something that is workable. Now, I, 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 my major concern of coming, uh, or motive of coming is that the value chain of agriculture, have you phobia for setting up an agri uh, farming and every other thing? And I said, okay, the value chain is also a very key aspect. In fact, this January, I've started a process of going into the value chain of yam. But at the point in time when this a Greek project came up. I said, okay, let me come and learn first. Though we, I know most of what we have learned majorly was on farming, farming, farming. Why the value chain is uh, just uh, skeptical. But I just want to reiterate that. I think this also is a very key, being a person in Lagos and a business person in Lagos. And I know that people bring a lot of agricultural produce into Lagos in different markets on daily basis. And these things are being bought on daily basis. So that was why, that was what prompted, uh, prompted my uh, inquisitive in tag to make research about the yam. So I just want to, I just want how we can actually work hand in hand because we have members across the states. The, based on my research, um, uh, whatever, it was Benue that was actually given, um, that was told that has the best of the yam. And I was even prepared to go to Benue to go and start making with some of our colleagues that are members. But the reason why I'm pointing this out is that when we have members across, we can always work in hand and see where we can have this thing, how we can work together to make this value chain thing work for us. Even for those of us that may not eventually jump into farming. Though I've learned a lot about farming and I want to actually go into it starting to start gradually. But I think the value chain of a thing is also very key. Salam alaikum to Labra Katu. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullah wa katu. Please um, uh, let's make our comments brief. Uh, it's a very good point that you made, but uh, we could have made it um, yeah the number number five. Five. But before you give it to him, let's quickly respond to his own about, hold on please, um, he's talking about follow up. What we intend to be doing, and we have already told you that by setting up that WhatsApp platform, that's the major platform we'll be using to follow up. Periodically, we'll be sending Google Forms asking several questions about what you are doing, what you are involved in, what you are doing, how you are faring, what are your challenges, what are the solutions that you came up with, how did they come out. We'll be developing periodic, you know, questionnaires that we send to all of you that participated here, that we expect you to respond to and send to us, which we would collate and issue the results at the end. And we want to be doing that fairly, you know, um, fairly 
constantly as much as possible. But know also that you know, those who volunteer for them for this job also have their own jobs that they are doing. You know? You need to know, you need to see the amount of time that some of my colleagues, I don't say they didn't put in much, um, the, if you like, the top of the pyramid, but people really did a lot of groundwork, particularly Brother Kabir. I even thought people were going to ask the question, why hold this thing in the learning of all places? Why didn't you bring it to Benin? Uh, why not to Ibadan, Southwest, or Abekuta, or Ilaro? So let me use this opportunity to answer that question. We have Sanatu Tijara secretaries with, with every circuit. Sanatu Tijara secretaries in every circuit. And the Sanatu Tijara secretary is there. At the end of every month, they are supposed to write reports and send to him to present at the Amila. He barely gets five reports. Five. From Sanatu Tijarat secretaries. 73 circuits. Hmm? 73 circuits. 73 circuits. He barely gets five, six. Some of them will even come late. Too late for him to be able to collate and present at the Amila meeting. One of the most active Sanatu Tijara secretaries is this guy here. And he's the one that you can relate with. Yoruba say, Omatoba Shia, Pasoke, Lamagbe. When the other secretaries, Sanatu Tijara secretaries, don't even write reports, let alone even be engaged, how can you relate with them? He started this whole idea by going to some of these agencies himself. He's a student, he's a worker, and he took this one on. Hmm? He's also a farmer. You went to his farm this morning, I understand. So see what he has come out. Young people should use their time before they get old like me. He's a student, he's doing his master's or PhD, doing his PhD, he's working, he has a family, he has a farm. So what excuse do people have? So that's why when some people come to us and say, come and help me with money, I just look at them. Because I know people who are, if he comes to me asking for money, I know, yes, I can support this guy. You know? So, yeah, so he was the one that went. Fortunately or unfortunately, all those agencies, it is the state offices of these agencies that we were dealing with. Most of the headquarters, except for the store products that is there, the headquarters are in Abuja. So, so they can only operate within this state. NDE, all these guys that we came from, that came from NDE, even if they want to do something for us, they can't do it outside of Kwara State. If you want to take it in Benin, you have to go to the Benin Edo State NDE. You want to do it in uh, uh, Badon. You go to your state ND. So in order for us to take it elsewhere, somebody has to be ready to do the legwork in that place. That's, why, that's the point. So if you want us to bring it to a uh, state, go to your state people and talk to them. If they are willing to do this, yeah, we, we, we will come there, provided we have the funds. Because don't say you have gone there, you have brought, then we say no. So that's how it came about. It's the state agencies that we worked with, and they cannot work outside of their state. The only person that can work outside of one particular city where they are is the national, the one in Abuja. They can then say, you know, do go and do it there, or whatever. So that's why it came to Ilori, is one due to largely to his efforts. And the fact that we cannot work outside the, the mandate area of each of those. Um, so thank you very much. That's, um, so you'll be expecting, just be very close to our WhatsApp platform. You'll be seeing those things that we expect. And then when we begin to send forms out and people don't respond, it can't be our fault again. You understand? That's how we can monitor. 
uh, there is no funds else somewhere for the three of us to come say, we want to come and visit you in, uh, in Laro, in uh, Edo, in just to see what you are going. We don't have the funds. We also may not have the time because all of us are also busy doing our own things. But if we ask questions and you feel from them, we can uh, relate. Or even without asking questions, you yourself put it on the platform. We will see it there. Thank you. So number five here, please. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, sir. Wa alaikum warahmatullahi And Lukman Idris is my name, sir. And I'm Mutamin Santi Tijara for Majlis Kudama Madia, Nigeria. So on behalf of um, Sadar Majlis Kudama Madia, Nigeria, I want to say a big jazakumullah khairan to the Jamaat and the Santi Tijara Committee for this um, laudable program. It's actually like the first of its kind because we've been having workshop, Jamaat workshop, Itima programs, all are majorly spiritual workshops and spiritual gatherings. So having something of this nature is something very, um, very laudable and we really appreciate this. So we say Jazakumullah Khairan and want to use this opportunity to appreciate all members who actually turn out to attend this program. If after all the effort of, uh, of the Jamaat, all the connection with ND, because um, getting a kind of partnership or getting to reach out to NDE, NSPRI, to have this type of program. It's possible they might have organized the program and bring, we have people within us without connecting with those people, but for the program to be something more for you to know that it's not just a, a mere program. That's why they have gone that length to get connection with those people. So I want to use this opportunity to encourage us to try to get something done. Most times we do say, ah, eh, Jomo cannot do more than what they are doing. It's high time we get, we get started to do one thing or the other. So, Majlis members especially, spread all across the, all across the country. Please, let's take this O to go and start something. That's it's not a bad idea for us as a dealer or as a Mukomi, no matter how small, to start something in group. If you feel even the 300,000 mm -hmm. I want you to start something is too much, I think through your dealer or 200,000 can still be raised to get something doing. So please, let Majlis members especially start to do something. So if you can do that, our 12 members who are growing to meet us in that can see that, okay, we have people who are doing so. They too can take that, um, take such step. Then by so doing, we have a lot of us who are coming into agriculture and we can solve the problem of um, unemployment and um, a lot of things. Then number two is that um, amidst us, we have a lot of farmers who are actually practicing farmers too. They may not be lecturers here, but within us, we've seen some of them and what they are saying. I have some of them in Greek years in Lagos State. They are trained by Lagos State and they are practicing. I will try to also talk to them by permission of the San Sijara um, um, Secretary. Maybe we can add them to the platform too, so they can be of help whenever we need assistance. Some of them might be close to you. For those in Lagos now, you can have access to them. If you have some of them in Oshu State, you can have access to them, and you can also ask questions from them on the platform. We also, sir, I also have an information for us here. So if you permit, I can also read that across. It's a, it's a program from UK members too, on coding class. Oh, okay. So. We are talking to somebody in UK on that particular coding. Okay, sir. Uh, yeah, and um, the last message we got from them okay, sir. is that they will need, the person who is going to do it said he needs to talk to his Amir. Okay. And um, his Amir will have to talk to our own Amir. Okay, sir. And when they agree at that high level, okay, sir. then he can then relate with us. So okay. for that purpose, we have already pre-informed the Amir, uh, Amir, that okay. is, okay, sir. that he should be expecting a call from Amir UK okay, on sir. this uh, matter. 
Okay, and uh, we just are waiting till once they finish the talking. I think he just wants to be sure that he's de dealing with, uh, you know, Jamaat okay. Ahmadiyya, Nigeria, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so uh, once we have that one, we will po post it on the platform for those who are interested. Okay. Now, only few people can be interested in coding. It's not all of us. It's not like um, growing cassava or, you know, uh, you must be sharp with your computer and all that. So don't come there and be asking, what is coding, Seth? <laughs> if you have to be asking, what is coding, that course is not meant for you. That is the truth. You know, so bad. Yeah, so thank you so much. We have yes, followed up on it. And once we are able to resolve it, we will um, we'll share it on the number six. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Definitely, like my colleagues have appreciated the lecturers and the organizers of this program, I join them in appreciating them. We can't reward them, but Almighty Allah is the best in appreciating. We reward them immensely, inshallah. However, one of the lecturers yesterday was about talking, was talking on a product packaging the price but i need to elaborate more on it if you have a certain product to market and you are a newcomer in that uh, market you don't go for bottle for bottle like coca-cola and pepsi you don't go for price war you need to skim your own price my brother produces is a good uh, poultry farmer producing uh, four weeks five weeks or six weeks, is a old man in the field. I'm a newcomer. And I want to challenge him at the same market. What I need to do is to skim my own price. He's selling at 1,000 Naira. I'm not going to compete with him at that 1,000 Naira because he is well established at that 1,000 Naira. By the same product, I am going to skim my own price to 900 Naira so as to reduce a bit for those customers. Those customers, if you want to buy more, if they want to buy in quantity, by the time they calculate 100, 100 naira, they will just say, ah, with that 100 naira, I can add more, I just buy more. So gradually, I'll be increasing my price to be able to eat the same price he is. Introducing your product in the market, you don't go for price war, like Coca-Cola and Pepsi, bottle for bottle, price for price. Then packaging, the man talked about packaging. Your product must be well packaged. Like I said yesterday, package itself serves as a silent salesperson. If I go to the market, I want to buy something. It is the package that we advertise itself that, ah, this thing is okay. Without even seeing the content of what is there, I'll buy through the package. I might even bought it, taking it home. They are not satisfied with the product in it. But the package has advertised itself as a silent salesperson. Then the, top, uh, the second one is, uh, the third one, uh, the fourth one is the place. If your product is very good in the market, don't allow your customer to be looking for you, to be calling you and they will say, where are you? Then you are not available at the market again. If you are not available, they don't know the source where they can get you and get the product. Then it means you are selling yourself out of the market gradually. Always make sure you have direct contact with your customers and let your customers know you that you are always available at any time they want you with the product they want to buy from you. Like I said, you don't go for price war. Jazakumullah Hayran, sir. Barakalafi, thank you very much for those words of advice to our budding entrepreneurs. So we move back to Lajna, but before we go, let's take more numbers. I think that's the last number. No, I mean, the, we, are, we went up to six. We are giving new numbers now. Oh, yeah, raise your hands so that I can give you a number. The other time, people were shy to raise their hands now. So we start again. Number seven, number eight, number nine, number 10, number 11, number 12, number 13, number 14. Please remember your numbers. We'll come back. No, you, I didn't see your hand. Number 15. So, um, oh, you want me to remove one number and give you? <laughs> number 15. So, Lajna, please, let's have the number, the fourth person from Lajna. 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is uh, Elias Rafiat Falashade from Mowode Sakwit, Ogun State. My question is on uh, farmland uh, opportunity. I want to ask the organizers that we that comes from uh, Ogun State, like uh, Ilaro, Owode Ota, precisely, can we get the uh, farmland opportunity? as uh, people in uh, Ilefe. I know that it's just an opportunity for them, but I don't know if we that come from that uh, area can get uh, the same uh, opportunity because, you know, before we came to this place, I don't have, uh, I, I have passion for farming and also a phobia because when you are talking about uh, fishing, especially uh, catfish, I used to be afraid of taking it. I can eat it, but I cannot touch it. Life. So, but uh, the lecture that they have given us, it's, it's, it has relieved me a lot about that. In fact, I'm even dreaming of a uh, farm now. In fact, since uh, on Wednesday, I've called people at home that, please, oh, help us look for land. We want to plant a uh, purple. Uh -huh. So that one is in my mind. Then again, I've been dreaming about the land in front of my uh, compound. I've demarcated this already in my mind. Ah, that's nice. That's a good one. <laughs> demarcating in your mind. That I'll use one part for uh, a wedu. I'll use one part for okra. Then I'll use another uh, part for uh, a vegetable like uh, shoko uh, for and all that. I've been thinking about that. Just before we came to this program, I wanted to call my neighbor that this land is just there. We'll be weeding it every time. Every time. If you, go, if, you, if, you can't, if you don't have the power, we'll call people to come and weed it for us because, because of the grasses. So I wanted to talk to him that what can we use this land for? That yeah, it's about to rain. Let's make use of it. But I've not called him. I didn't have the opportunity to call him. But now that this one has came, I really thank God I, and I really appreciate the amount. So we are going to work on it. As they promised at the farm, they said they are going to give us some uh, seeds. So we'll go and try that one at home. And inshallah, we'll be not giving. Not, not giving them. OK. All right. Thank you so much, uh, madam. Yes, sir. Um, before you give it to the next person, um, you raise the issue of land in Ilaro. Yeah. Uh, for quite some time, the secretary, Sanato Tijarat, has been talking about uh, us using land in Ilaro, you know, uh, profitably. And I, my response has always been to him. Who is ready to do it? Who is ready to take it up? Who is ready to farm there? Are you from Ibadan going there to farm? Uh, so I, it's his passion for, 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 for this kind of thing. And I'm happy about the, your own passion. So much so that you're already dreaming about the land that you have demarcated, you know, it's very good. Uh, so, yes, if you are willing, I think we have some land there. We will, uh, the secretary, Sanal Jarat, see him. He will talk to the JAXA, uh, what do they call them now? Admin setup. Okay. During our time, it, it was during our time that it is JPC, JAXA, JAXA Planning Committee. It now they are JAXA Admin Setup. Uh, who, uh, will, who, you know, supervise and manage the land, and uh, they will lead you to how you can get the land there. We want, in fact, he is uh, in charge of the market in Jalsa, and he, his own idea is that some of the food items we use during Jalsa should be produced by, by members, mm -hmm. not only pure water that they produce, the bread that we buy, I think we buy from, I don't know, maybe say member that produces the bread. You know, things like that. It shouldn't be only those two items. Tomatoes, uh, tomatoes you know, pepper, onions, if we, anything that we use there, we should, some members should regard the Jasa time as a time to make money, you know. Uh, so now that you have indicated interest, uh, please again see the Secretary Sanato Tijara. But a note of warning on land. 
Especially each time you talk about, everybody has been talking of purple. Make sure the land you are going to use is in a secure place. Even for fish. You will raise your fish when they know it's about three, four months ready for the table. They come and help you harvest it. You know, so much so now, people who do fish put something on top, uh, barbed wire, and lock it. You know, you can't do that one for people who plant plantain and uh, banana, purple. All these people coming back from their farm, they, are, they went in the morning, coming back, they see your own farm. They won't even let it ripen finish before they harvest it. So it has to be, so when you are talking about land, don't because of your passion for a Greek. Just go, you just do work for somebody else. So it's, make sure it's a place that is secured. That's the, that's the truth. There are a lot of people out there, they are not interested in farming. Except at the last stage, the harvesting. You know, you will do all the farming and everything. They come and harvest it for you. And uh, all the labors, all the money you spend, gone down the drain. So please be careful about land. And we are sure that whatever you do in uh, Ilaro is safe. Okay. When this guy from Ife was telling me, I told him, how safe is the place? So I now told him to write and tell us about the whole place and we will share. So anybody that has that, but anybody going for land, be sure it's a place that is safe. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much. Yes, uh, I think we have answered the question. So please give it to the next person. Be sure to see, no, not here. It's uh, still large now now. Give it to the number five in Lajna. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Um, wakwa nifun olon oba. Alhamdulillah. Oba dada oba sheda. Oba toni oruko mini misis ola yinka tawa kali tu. Allah akbar. Lati eko alimo sho. Very good. Modupe fun along oba. Alhamdulillah. Fun we wa ni bi. Mosi tu dupe fun along oba ba kono fun bogo e mi to wa ni bi. Modupe fun along oba ele du mare oba de oba sheda oba to ni berati o kwe ongogo oba to ni we wa oba to ni dida oba we be jebe oba to she. Allah akbar. The most fashion at the kwe oni e to to re wa juloni nu ele to. attentively Oh my gain a lot. And I've really gained a lot. Ni at the end of each section, I wala jina in my life. I'm a tawa ni bi lokem bi. Aman joko. Aman wo we pe in kota wa she yi. Kini a fife susi waju. Ba kwa ju lo. Forma sa daru wa ton wala ni wan bi wan ma kwa wani ema lo. A fito ba she we pe asiko yun ba to no manika lo ki yun. Toba so ipe ka lo kirun ta ba ti kirun a ma pada sinu Olorun bi bayi won ma ba wa soro even in the mosque after the salat won ma ba wa ri nkan kan so ni pe nkan ta wa se yi bi o se ni je pe akon wa lasan ki la fe fi se ba o la se fe fi su ti waju ni gbogbo awon nkan ta won na ba wa so mo de dupe lodo olorun tori pe kini awon to mo mi dedede le won mo wi pe mo ni awon ibi ti mo gbe nkan kekeke si ninu le ti a fi nje ti ki se pe alonra efo ani awon titi wa ti an je ni fresh one e fo ni ewe du ni o nkan gbogbo bi awon nkan ogede gbogbo awon nkan kekeke yen lati gbin even e ja na ati se lawon ogba kan ko je pe a o ti ni mo toto eleyi ni gba yen pelu awon eja yin tori awon toto bi ju awon ikan won gbe ra won mi gaga bi brother bashir bon se so fun wa lekan ni pe won ma ma gbe ra won mi so nkan to really sele ni gba yen be nisin Nigba yan o da bi gbogbo lecture ti mo gbo ni bi ba yi seems as if we are looking at things with one eye now that i've attended this seminar i have two eyes now to look at things to watch over all things 
And I know it's going to benefit all of us. Inshallah. Inshallah, be good right to So, Modupa for long, but let you marry. But I do pay with pay. I am funny seeking. Advise me, Fungo Boani, we pay. Near Polo Poiba. Eh, Atison was see our Atison Chandawa, woman tough, nigga me. Moan bear or recall to our full program, ye lonely we pay. Kalo utilize a one a sorting one fair fuwa. Two about fuwa, near so yet a bad low, oh my wool of one. Nitori a four, a way do our busy lady wa. Every morning, no one can get nigga. Nigga, every morning, no one can get toughen ra and one a four, turn right away do. So I don't need any problem, that is someone who wa. Only advice, Simon Fun, our tea, our city, we come a cock boy to you, we a cock bonny. Cafe, she, 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 I recall my beer, sorry, the four. It already a fair boss raining season by a colloqua, one cock on a matter, cut it to cool only. Tom, I war a lower, then tabad did not, Timon Mara lower, take off in Jackie, a poor waki, or dry. Back on any more fair, more fair bow, and in your drip, eat your tea, one in wet, own shake, go and funny you fool. Ki ama anoti joy ni no adura wa ni gogo ba. Latori awo missionary amiru movisi uzuru gogo mo jo kwata kwata kama anoti ori arawa ni no adura fu progress joy. Kali mate siwa juni bi inkonda kini itaba bere ni kwelo awa tawa i ama easy opolo pongo o ma deru fu alagbara long so alimo shole miti wa unko unko ti mo de gemi mbi ba i. If you talk, a little one in New Iletiwa, call it to me, Paul, and Conyan Seal. You know, Lower Tia Ballet, Chef Minia Limosho, Timo Maficari, and will be in Toko along near Limosho, we pay, and combine Nimo Log Bewa, Ewa, where they can just say, Tia Mafima, Jay and Fanier, Edosa, Eba Fi, or Juosa. As Lama Leco are almost to Lava Baraka too. Well, Leco Salam around Terra. I do follow Yawa Gonfon or she did one from Bubua. A de badra, we go badra, take by four out to four eye, along a jerky, you say. As you are doing, a ojerky, you know, our tea, I say to you, ojerky, no wadu. You know, pay at least there is a I make a little impact. You tell you, Tasha Rebellion, or I'm belong, pay a bush career, no column, but so did in la. Now, the your last point, ni. Ali Mosho, my first suggest to create a back pada. Can be returning, so not to Jara secretary, ni Jomoy, Tesso, Isu Tesso, you phone. Can I go relate more national and not to Jara secretary? Yes, sir. Yale, only Jacob, one of the ones who are active so far. But Kawaja come on, we are active way. Oh, Mama, she, Palarafu, and your members. All right, sir. Only that you are active, we overly attract some of these little little things. T, Jamal Alam of our. So the battle get here. Can you get across to the national and not just secretary? Can we take up matter from there? You know. Emi o emi ro kwe eko amu ni lefu agbeni. Be industry 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 no ni fun. So but now that is okwe amu agbeni atu wa leko. Mo kwe te ban losi bad agree no. Yes. A lot of uh, money, a four year, one bed, some mm. vegetables, they, you know. But when you come, I don't think she can be. Otherwise, concrete, eh? Uh, you uh, could uh, do, okay, you could do lots of work, but yeah, okay, maybe. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but she Jenny, I do pay for you. Yes. I do pay for you. So, I do pay for you. So, uh, go, yeah, you know, me do you can't tell so pay and pay a man she after each lecture. I want to know what to make for the critical at my prayer. I want large now, they are better organized than males, much, 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 much better organized. Does that cool now? Hi, I'm not very late. If you want to let me, if you have to relate with um, Madrid School, I'm la Madea, Madrid and Sarula, and large now, they are very, very organized. Nare Tegbi Allah Akbar Lajna Imaila Zindaba Sherry Ru Gotonche Tomatu Shetan Watu Pera Watu Light Tikuro 
He be a hard butter phone, you know, you can Phone, you know, You know, I want to see him by phone call. You know, number two, kill him, turn 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 him, I want to know one be a monument for beating me by. Oh, you cannot take a water, that go by, a marble, a jacajo, shaking it. So, you may do pay as he call a log mock on. Taban new opportunity in future. I'm sure uh, all the other auxiliary bodies too will they want to, you know, call their members and say, okay, let us see whether uh, any tobacco log mock you are called. Could it bomb? A man's son of my way. Eh, tu ton bari enikan to wu ati o danta. Won ni fe bu awon bi am, mo so ko won ko ya, mo ko ra e. You know, which means pe lai ngba ti won ti so, you want to make that effort to even imbibe the things to internalize. Sorry, that's what I want to use. After you have been taught, you didn't make the effort to internalize. In ko ta won se, lai ngba ta won lecturers wa kan ton, won to make effort lati internalize. So, thank you so much for that and I hope uh, the rest uh, Auxiliary bodies will also learn from that. So, a bag for number six. Lord of Yimbe. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Kolade Fatima from Akwata. From Akwata, Ibadan. Yes, sir. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin, for the program so far. And uh, Jazakum la khairan to all the organizing committee and the hosting Jamaat. We really appreciate you all. The aspect in which I want to ask is uh, about the packaging and the marketing. When I was filling the form online, it's like I saw something like exportation, how we can export our farm produce. So that, that, uh, that aspect is really the aspect in which I was interested in when I filled the form. But maybe the time did not permit us to reach that aspect. I don't know if there can still be opportunity for us that has already been into buying and selling of those farm produce. So how we can upgrade ourselves by exporting our packaged products to the nearest, maybe if the foreign countries. So okay, you, thank you very much. Yes, we originally planned to bring in NEPC, Nigeria Export Promotion Council, I think, uh, you know, to also have a talk with us. Unfortunately, we couldn't uh, eventually get that done. Uh, but I think uh, because it's, uh, it's an agency of my ministry when I was in the ministry, it's a sister agency, and I do know they have a very, very good website. So please visit their website. It's www.nepc.org. Uh, no, N-E, N-E. Nigeria Export Promotion Council, N-E-P-C. Dot, no, dot .gov, dot .gov. It's a government agency. Uh, .ng, yes. Dot .gov, dot .ng. If you visit their sites, I'm sure uh, you get a lot of information because they are looking for people that will also export, you know, uh, uh, Nigerian uh, commodities. They have a program they called All Up. One local government, one product. One local government, one product that they introduced to, you know, um, can we have some quiet, please? Please. They have a, 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 a program they call All Up, is, which means one local government, one product. And the idea behind it, they are looking for local governments in Nigeria that specialize in producing specific commodities. You know, it doesn't have to be agriculture. It could be mining. It could be something that you, you produce. So long as that thing is noted for that local government, they want to promote it so that you can take it to the export market. You know. And they have a lot of other programs, which I, I'm sure if you visit their website, you will get uh, information. But if you do get there and there are still questions that you have, uh, please um, uh, get back to us, get back to the National Sanatu Tijarat uh, Committee and we'll look into that uh, for you. But I believe by the time you go to their website and you engage 
them uh, because I'm sure there are feedback um, pages on that uh, website. Uh, you can get in touch with them there and they will uh, respond, they will uh, answer your questions. So the, I think that's the easiest since we are unable to bring them to talk here. If we are able to bring them, we have a contact person just like this uh, resource person that we can collect his phone number and, you know, talk to. And we will still go ahead. Uh, if we can still get um, somebody, you know, somebody we are re uh, relating with where we are trying to get them on, we will, if we get it, we will share it with you so that you can get in, in touch with them directly. Uh, why it's easy to work with uh, government agencies is that it is their statutory mandate. It's their job. That's the basis of their existence. What we are doing, in fact, they are happy with us because we are helping them to fulfill their mandate. This thing they have done for us there, they will report it as something they have done in their, when they are making the report. Even though it's our own initiative. So it's easier to, you know, uh, help us because by helping us, they are helping themselves. If, they, if, uh, if you happen to meet people who recognize it because there are a lot of also, you know, civil servants that just see civil service as mill tickets, most my, oh, why do I bother myself? I beg, carry go, you know. But if you meet um, people that are serious-minded, they will uh, assist. Thank you so much. Yes, please. Assalamu alaikum, alaikum salam. Is this on? Okay. Are you hearing? No. From? Uh, no, we are not hearing. Okay. Assalamualaikum Oh, uh, it's still right. on the Nigeria Export Promotion Council. Uh, we encouraged all members here yeah, to join relevant uh, regulatory bodies, associations like All Farmers Association of Nigeria, then FACAN, Federal uh, um, Federation of Agricultural Commodity of Nigeria, FACAN. Now. The essence of joining this association is that they partner with organizations to organize seminars. Like in November last year, I was shortlisted for a seminar organized by FACAN at AMTI in partnership with um, Nigeria Exportation Promotion Council and um, Export Expansion Facility of the Federal Government, which even after the seminar, each member went home with 50,000 Naira cash. So what I'm trying to say is that by the time you partner, you register yourself in such association, when a seminar is, being, uh, is about to be organized, your name will be shortlisted, rather, apart, uh, rather than just going to their website, because there, there are some politics involved. But if you are active in the association, especially when you are in ESCO, definitely you'll be giving slot. So there are many opportunities you get through that. So we encourage you to join AP, uh, AFAN, the PAN, Poetry Association of Nigeria, any relevant association. There are many opportunities and grants and loans be given or being channeled through this association. Thank you. Thank you so much. You see another opportunity there. Try to join any of this. is because he has uh, joined and he was able to benefit from it. So please... Uh, the, okay, those names, you will put it, you know, FACAN, AFAN, PAN, there is even uh, uh, RIA or something for rice, REFAN. So they have so many commodity associations out there. And indeed, it's easier to get support through them than individually. Because you come as a group now. The executives, to fulfill their mandate of being the executive, go out and source for all these things. For their members. So if you are already a member, possibility that you can benefit is also there. So there are so many opportunities. Really, so many opportunities. But you have to go out and... So you will put all these ones there. And, uh, and there are local chapters of most of this, you know, um, there is on those day for Afan, is there. Those day will be there. Just look for what is there and join. And so it's not, uh, it doesn't have to be that they are in Abuja alone. So thank you so much, Brother Kabir, for that. Uh, we have done number six there. So we are, we are back here. Number seven here.
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi First of all, we give thanks to Almighty Allah. My name is Daud Dada from Ekiti State Jamaat. From? Ekiti State Jamaat. Ekiti State Sakut. Eh? Ekiti Sakut. Ekiti Sakut. Okay. We thank to Almighty Allah for letting this group program hold. Uh, I will also thank the Amir and the, all the executives and the Secretary of Santo Tijarat. Uh, <clears throat> I want to ask you, sir, you tell us about one cooperative earlier your statement that time, sir, that there is one cooperative that some of people can make themselves as a, as a group. Uh, you, t you tell us that it's around about that, if uh, those people that are around, around if uh, area. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you that, sir, can this opportunity of this group of cooperative, can, can we have that kind of that in our area, like it is, sir? Okay. Secondly, sir, by the grace of Almighty Allah, we, Ekiti, at least Magi Skudam of the state, we, are able, we will be able to, by the grace of Allah, we will establish the proper plantation. Plantation. You have already established? Or you no, are going to? We, we, by the grace of Almighty Allah, okay. as we reach out, inshallah. inshallah, we will go for proper planting. Very, in nine so, months time, send me some fruits. By the grace of God, <laughs> By the next of one year, sir, anytime you came to AKT, we will see something to give you to work, sir. Inshallah. Thank you, Omar. Okay. Um, I already said it, if you had me right, that the full details of that uh, land in Ife, when the guy, when the member was telling me, I couldn't get all. So I've asked him to formally write to us, stating the conditions. You know, and if he does that, we will post it to you. I do not think, though, that um, this is uh, a member actually is from that area. And so he's aware that land is available. It's like you from Ekiti. You know there is a large land somewhere in Ekiti, and you are willing to allow people to come and uh, it's, it belongs to a big cooperative society. But they want to open up for other smaller, smaller cooperative societies to come and take land and engage in agriculture, you know. So why we announce it here is that it will be necessary for you to be able to benefit from it, you have to form a cooperative. And I was saying that you can't form like you, you and your uh, co colleagues in the kitchen can't form an association of all of you residents in Nikiti wanting to farm in Ife. It will not work. You know. But if you form a cooperative, maybe two or three of you are resident in Ife. And then they can be your eyes and your ears on ground. While you, the rest of you, can visit once in a while. So I am not too sure that um, uh, we, Ajama doesn't have any land anywhere. For, even if you have land, uh, we can only allow people to, if you are not using it now, to say, okay, you can be using it for agrarian and allow it to lie fallow. Okay, so Jama will have plan for its own land, you know. So it's you now that you look around and get the land and hope, uh, come and even tell us that you also want others to come and benefit. This is a member that just told us of his own land in Ife, you know. So, um, uh, but once he writes to us with all the conditions, we post it, and if you think you can, uh, you can key into it, we take it from there. So uh, I don't know the full conditions. Uh, once he writes with the conditions, we will post, and he, all of you can see it, and then if you can't, and the, his phone number and things will be there so that you can engage him directly and let him... Uh, number eight... Number eight. He has forgotten his number. Okay, number nine. 
Number nine. I'd like to appreciate those uh, the organizer of this program. May Allah reward you all. So I want to make a request or suggestion that it's only our, uh, our authorized television that covers this program. Why can't you invite other the television authority like NTA, other the AIT, and so on and so forth. So what would be the benefit to us? <laughs> so that there will, will be awareness that Amadea Muslim Jamal of Nigeria, they are trying to make the... Uh, okay, thank you very much for your advice. But I think you know that uh, news in Nigeria is to the highest bidder. It doesn't come cheap. At any point in time, they have 1,001 news items that they can carry within the 30 minute slot of their news and things like that. It goes to the highest bidder. So if you see them carrying somebody's doing marriage, know that that person has given them good money to carry his marriage. Even as of, it's of little newsworthy, newsworthiness to the rest of us. I mean, if you marry. I don't know you. I don't. So what's my business? If you marry, I've married too. So, but they carry it, and uh, because they get the money, so um, I, uh, I. It's good to let them know that the Jamaat is doing something like this. I mean, we have one or two people that came on the basis of the fact that they had the little radio announcement that we made here, you know. But uh, knowing that um, uh, this thing costs money. We, again, we were a bit uh, also reluctant. This is the first time we are all doing something like this. It's like the first time you are doing a particular exam. You have prepared very well and everything, but you are still not too sure, will it be a flop? Will it, be, will it succeed? And you don't want to wash your dirty linen outside. Amadia goes out and then he goes to flop. Instead of uh, even being a benefit to the Jamaat, it's something you, people say, I went to one stupid program, one Jama said they organized. If you see what happened there, ah, I was disappointed. So we don't want to. Now that we have seen how it turns out, next time we are doing it, because we have some bit of confidence now, we can organize it, we can run it successfully. We may do that if we have the funds. Because, like I said, it's, uh, it's money for journalist people. And you have heard of Brown Envelope now, haven't you heard? What do you think is inside the envelope? <laughs> so it's, uh, you have to weigh everything. But it's good publicity if you run a good program that they can, uh, you know. We will t take it on board next time. Thank you. Number? Number 10. 10. Yeah, I remember you. You are number 11. You have forgotten your number. I know you are number 11. Uh, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum salam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is uh, Isa Alani Shokumbi from Mamadia Estates, Ota, uh, Ota Sakit. Ota. Yes. Uh, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. We thank God Almighty Allah for making this program a reality. Alhamdulillah. And not only that, for making it to be successful. Because when we came here on Sunday, we were looking at it that is it going to be possible for this program to be held and, you know, to be so much accomplished as it is today. But we thank God Almighty Allah who has made it possible for us. Um, let me also thank the organizer, um, organizers of the program. They have done very well because when you look at it, we were all assembled here without paying a kobo. That alone is not easy for somebody 
somewhere to gather about 200 people together and fed them for a whole week. It's not, that, it's not an easy task. So we thank the organizi uh, organizers. May God Almighty Allah continue to bless them. Uh, let me thank the Jamaat too. I mean the learning Jamaat. They've done very well. At least, if not for any other thing, they have been able to accommodate us. And uh, we, I believe all of us, we are very comfortable. So, Jezakumullah will hire them for that. Well, I don't have much to say. <laughs> but to implore all of us that are here today that we should try as much as possible when we get back to our various places, let us begin something. That will even be a kind of, uh, uh, what do I call it? Uh, encouragement. Encouragement for the people that organize it. Yeah. It won't be as if they have wasted their fund, they have wasted their time, they have wasted their energy. So let us all go back home and begin to do something. As for me, before I came here, I've, started, I've, I've been doing something. I have a small, very small poultry farm that, I'm, that, that I've been you know, managing. How many birds? Uh, yeah, just 50 birds. Ah, uh, that's good. So, and... Uh, you are better you know, than me. I have five birds. <laughs> so... My coming here is, just, is to come and learn more, to, have, to gather more experience. And I'm very happy that my coming here is not Wasted. waste. So I want to uh, ask, uh, implore other people too, that they should you know, try as much as possible that they do something regarding this. Then secondly, I intend to, like other people, let me join those people that want to set up a kind of a, a pop-up plantation. <laughs> so I want to join them. Uh, immediately, the, uh, the uh, lecturer gave us that lecture on that day. I've even uh, requested for the seedling, just small uh, quantity anyway, so that at least I can begin something as regards that. So let me once again thank the organizer, organizers, and I pray God Almighty Allah to, you know, uh, uh, to guide all of us back to our various destinations. I mean, thank you very much. Wa alaikum barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa barakatuh. Thank you so much. Uh, we go back to Lajna now to have uh, the next three set there. Always remember what I told you about Smedan uh, motto: Start small, grow big. Start small, grow big. Even if you have the funds to start big. Even if, if you have the funds to start big, start small and grow big. You know, it's the be, it's best way. Rather than growing big and then starting big and growing small. <laughs> so, Lajna, please. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi. Before I continue what I have to say, can I you please to... speak louder? Before I continue what I have to say, I want, not hearing you well. I want to seek the permission from the Nine Amir to say, I mean, to go into Sajida for making this program a big success. Tell them to. Go on, madam. Yes, sir. Without repeating what you know, all what all those people that have been, you know, talking before me saying, I want to say, Subhanallah, Adada Halki, Subhanallah, Ridon Nafsi, Subhanallah, Zinata Arshi, Subhanallah, Midada Kalimati. That goes to the Almighty Allah. Now to the Amir, to the Naiba Amir, to Brother Abiyo Gazal, to Brother. And Abdul Kebir Balogun and all the participants, including our mothers. Sorry, sir. My name is Abdul Kadi Bilkis Balanle. 
As to us, former Asada Lajna Imaila. Okay. Many things I jotted down I have been pinpointed. But the area I want to go, especially, you know, the, um, the land of uh, the Jamas that are lying fallow many months of the year before the Jalsa. So before the Nain Bahamir made the comment that you have been working on that, I wanted to say that this program should be an eye-opener for the, the, the people who participated in this uh, in program that we should be able to do something before the JASA this year, that we should be able to provide vegetables, you know, all those things for the JASA people. But alhamdulillah, you have really touched on that. Now, I come from Lagos. Before we came here, my circuit presidents and I were discussing that actually we didn't know this is what we are going to meet. It is beyond our expectations. I only thought when I was filling the form that in my area, which are actually interested in seeing the crops and probably, you know, the I mean, part of a uh, poultry. Though I, I run, I have local poultry because I don't have, I mean, I don't have interest in this uh, in agricultural something because of the trouble, things like that. So when I got here, listening to the lecturers and everything, the way they simplify everything for us, made me to have interest, even if it is only on the, I mean, broiler, reality. I think I'm interested in that now. Especially on the crop. Papa, please, yeah, when you are writing down the names of those who are interested, including mine, into it, I really fall in love for it. So, um, as I was saying that, my circuit president and I was discussing that when we go back home, like the Naib Sami actually, I mean, really said that in Lagos, the problem of land is non available, except you have to go outside. That has been the challenges those of us who are interested in agriculture are facing. So, go on, please. Uh -huh. So, that is the problem we are facing. Otherwise, we have grown, you know, bigger. So, we are saying the little, you know, available land we have behind our mosque, we are going to utilize it for whatever we can use it for, at least to showcase, you know, the outcome of our coming here. And I have talked to my sada this morning that I cannot attend the program today because I'm in learning. So what are you doing there that I should join? I said, I cannot join this. I'm in learning. For the Jamaat program, I said, of course, please, ma, whatever you are, you know, you, I mean, you land there, come and impart it to us. You can be rest assured of that. So I had in mind that when I go back, whatever the land available for us, wherever it is, we must touch those lands. I remember we were given land in, uh, in Ayetoro. Then when, I think, I mean, in 19, was it 2000 and now or something, the second in command for all needed, you know, so I don't know where what, it is the demand they gave the land to. And I even heard that, you know, I mean, with the new program, they intended to make use of that, uh, to that land before the donation of whoever donated the land for the, I mean, um, the mini campus that we are going to make use of. If that land is still there, I think we can still make use of it, even if it is by organizing cluster farmers of those who come here to make use of that thing. Maybe for crop or for whatever. And that is the land I think it is in the hand of the Jamaat. And aside from that, whatever land that each auxiliary body has, we should make use of it. At least to appreciate what the efforts that the organizer of this program, you know, did for us. Jazakumullah Thank you very much, uh, former Sada. Uh, we really appreciate. Um, yeah, and um, I always like the passion of our women when they are talking about this. You can see the passion, really. You know. Uh, thank you so much. I think uh, just like she said, one thing that will uh, make the Jamaat, and I mean by 
the whole Nigerian Jamaat, especially the leadership, notice that we have done something like this. Is that when all of you get back to your circuits or Jamaat, all the lambs that belong to Jamaat that you have, been, that you have seen lying fallow, just apply that you want to start using them. I'm sure if, we, if the Jamaat receives about seven, eight, nine, ten applications, they say, ah, why? All of a sudden, why are they just, didn't they see this lamb before? Why are they now? So they will now know that that's the impact of this training we have had that has now opened people's eyes to the opportunities that we have had before that we never even, you know, you know bothered about. We didn't even think, uh, you know, we can use it. So, so long as Jamaat is not using it, Jamaat, just like the Nigerian government, is willing to allow people to, you know, support people who want to use the land profitably, you know, so long as we are not ready to use it. So I don't see wherever we have a land and uh, you will apply and Jama will say, no, you can't use it. I can't, I can't see it. Except you have some immediate use for it. If you don't have, I'm sure they will say, go ahead and use it, just take care. It even helps the Jamaat to ensure that you don't have encroachment on those lands. So, but the Senator Gerard Committee cannot um, help. We don't know where all the lands are across the country. It's individual members of individual Jamaat that know the land in their areas. There was a question, is it this morning or yesterday morning, about uh, land somewhere? And I said, Actually, the, there was that circular that said all the lands that Jamaat, that had been donated to the Jamaat or the Jamaat bought or something, uh, they want the officials in charge of those Jamaat to send their papers to their quarters so that we can keep records. A lot of this land are not even known in their quarters. A lot. You know, somebody, one old man died somewhere, donated land, maybe to the Jamaat there. And they, in that circular, they made it known. When they donate land to Jamaat, it's not to Ilori Jamaat or Ibadan Jamaat that they need it to. It's to Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, Nigeria. Of Nigeria. And they will, be, they will be the one to determine how you use it. You can't say, no, they gave us, so it's, it's our member, so he gave us. No. They gave to the corporate body, the corporate entity. You know, so that's why they need to have, even if you are going to be the one that will use it eventually, they need to have the records in their quarters. So if there are lands that are lying fallow, please apply for it and start using it. I'm sure they will approve it. Apply and send to the headquarters. Uh, I'm sure any such land, any such application now for use for any enterprise, they will send it to our committee and you can be sure we will recommend that it should be approved. So please, when you get back, Jazak won't laugh. Jazak I think we have had that, three. That is the last from the lady, sir. Oh, you are the last one. Please go ahead. No, it, I was the last one. The last. What was the last one. question? Yes, yes. The last, the last from the ladies. That is the last number, the last comment. Oh, you don't have any other one? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. We actually. It's now about uh, five minutes past six. I think the next ten minutes we will round up uh, so that we can go and prepare for Margaret. So, yeah, good. Uh, do we still have anybody here that wants to say anything? Oh, ah, where have you been? Oh, number 11, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Please. We have number 11. Please, let's make it sure so that uh, we can accommodate as many as possible. I know we gave up to 15. So, number 11... Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. My name is Warabul Ganyu Isa Eroige from Kaduna Jamaat. From Kaduna. It appears I am the only person from the northern axis here. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, is I Abuja north or south? No. Abuja is it north or south? Is it Kaduna? Abuja no, is within the, the, the north. north. <laughs> uh, hey, so if Abuja is from the north, you are not the only one. At least I've seen somebody from Abuja. No, even Kwara State is classified as north. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to sincerely 
thank this, this uh, committee for organizing this program and in fact executing it to the best that it has been done. Because while I was living in Kaduna, I remember some of my mem uh, some of members in our Jamaat were complaining that everything is only down to the south. I told them, no problem, I will still go down. I want to go and see because I happen to be the Sanato Dijara secretary in Kaduna Jamaat. So I took it upon myself that I must have to come and see. This is our body. Let's make sure we see what will be done properly since it's coming from the national level. So that we can from there learn and see how we can replicate similar at the local level. That was what prompted me. I arrived here five minutes to 12 on Sunday. Because I made sure I don't want to miss even the opening prayer of the program. I want to make sure I record everything and then take it back home so that we can be able to impact it back to our people and then let them begin to have a different notion. Wherever a program is organized, have a free mind to go to that place because a lot would you get from there will be of a good benefit to you. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah, the program has been well done and even is not comparable to the program which I was opportune to participate in, which was organized by Kaduna State Government. Kaduna State Government uh, organized a program on entrepreneurship generally, which Alhamdulillah, I participated in it and I've been trying to impact such ideas into my members in Kaduna Jamaat. I was hoping the opportunity will come where we'll take it also to the national level. Alhamdulillah, that opportunity came in this program. Some of the activities we were able to do there at that program, because it was completely sponsored by the government, to grow entrepreneurs for Kaduna State. Entrepreneurs that would be domiciled within Kaduna State. It, he paid completely for three months for us to en undergo that program in entrepreneurship purely in Kaduna State, Kaduna Business School. Those, that program really exposed me on how to become a businessman. And some of those handouts which we learned through there, I remember we even solved some problems from Harvard Business School. So some of those programs and some of those handouts, inshallah, I'm going to share it on our Sanato Tijara platform so that we will all benefit from very it. Very good, very good. Immediately here, I have a book here which is going to teach us on how we can account in our businesses because this program has given us how we can run an agri business. But one thing I see that we are still going to, which I believe will come in subsequent program, is how to now manage the business as an enterprise or as a limited liability company, which I hope, inshallah, we will get to that stage. So some of those things which we got from that business school, inshallah, I'm going to share them. And there is a book here with me already, which is online. Immediately after the program, I will share it on the platform. It's called... Uh, accounting in small businesses. It will tell you the nitty gritty because these are some of the things which uh, these uh, monitoring agencies like the NDE or some the Smithen will require to use to make you to assess how your you project. comply to running your business, which will give you opportunity to either get a grant or a loan from them. Alhamdulillah, we in Kaduna, we were able to form ourselves, though from the business school axis, we were able to form ourselves into small cooperative. And yesterday, there is a bank that sent us a letter telling us they are willing to support us in our cooperative. I wish to co-op some of our members here into that same group. The letters are all here in my phone. The banks have, are going to but, uh, assist us in form of the anchor borrower scheme, which the CBN okay. is funding. Yeah. 
So they are going to be like our facilitator and mediators between us and the CBN. Actually, we are looking at any crop available. Any crop you can go into, we can see how we can all partner and put in those things together and see how we can secure. They are willing to assist us with all the necessary input. Whereby after the cultivation in the season, a buyback will now be given back to the bank in respect of about 20% of your produce to pay up the money which they use to support your, their investment into your farms. So, inshallah, whoever is interested should meet me with, this, with the permission of this, the National Senator Tijara Secretary so that we can all look at this generally before we depart from here. Thank you very much. That's my contribution. Thank you so much. Jazakallah Haram. Thank you very much. Um, so what he says there is um, even the little you have learned, when you get back to your jamaat, we are, we are coming over 12. Even the little you have learned, when you get back to your jamaat, you can collect some other members and share with them. Share with them, be their own resource person, and tell them what, uh, what you learned and uh, all those uh, handouts that we gave, you know, share with them, run through some of the courses. If, the, the, what, what is making you people to become is that what we have done here is train the trainers. So when you get back, you now train others. We will have trained you who are the trainers. When you go back, you train. And that is how this thing will continue to expand. It's possible. Because it's hands on. It's something, you know. So thank you, our brother, for uh, agreeing to share those things. With you. Those are the kind of experiences that you said all of us uh, need. Share all those uh, things that you got from other platforms where people who are ready to read and learn will benefit from it. But those who are not ready to learn, you can't uh, do anything about them. So please, when you go back, if you can um, organize yourselves and the, the few people that come with you, know that the, you are forming the nucleus of a cooperative society that you can register and begin to you know, do some of uh, these things. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, we, we will, like I said, we will be asking for the reports of what you are, if you are able to do that, put it in the report. If you ask you, so what have you been able to do since a month since you left? You tell us, well, I went back, we did, we organized this, we did this, we did that, and this is how far we have to go. Uh, I think we probably put it, uh, put a stop to it here. We, we have to call it a day at a point. I'm really sorry. Um, we should be preparing for more group any moment from now. Um, Ahmed Akindele, you didn't talk about this thing, but I would say there is no time to talk again. Post it to us. What do you want people to do on this production of uh, water yam and sweet potato? Uh, put the conditions there and all those things. So whoever is, and put the contact address of who to contact if they want to do it. And then you will send the sample agro-growers uh, off-takers agreement. Send it there so they look at it, we look at it, and uh, we'll first make comment about it before we agree that this is what the agreement should look like. And then whoever agrees to, uh, you know, uh, go with you on that. Uh, they will join, and you'll be related with them one-on-one. -on -one. So let me again um, thank all of you for, uh, if we send out those forms and people do not respond, what are we going to do? In fact, we had that fear at the start when the form went out. For the first uh, one or two weeks, the response was lukewarm. You know, and uh, we didn't know. But once people now started feeling, we went up to, we said we are looking for 200. We went to 467. 
and then it became a problem for us again. <laughs> ah, are we going to cut down forces seven to 200? And it was a big, big, big issue. What would be the criteria to say, okay, you, you can come, you, you can't come? No matter how they lie, we were able to still do that, and uh, we have what we had. So I want to thank you all for coming, and uh, let's, uh, let the Jamaat feel that this has not been a wasted effort. And you yourself should even be able to feel that you have not just come here wasting your time for one full week, leaving your wife and children there, only to come here and then, you know, see the kind of sleeping arrangement, see the kind of food. Please, go back and do something. Start small and grow big. And I wish all of you, fear and money, back to your destinations. Tomorrow, we'll be having the... Um, closing ceremony. But I'm not too sure if you are aware that the Amir is on his way to this place to actually attend the closing ceremony. But it also coincides with uh, uh, the Ramadan tafsir that the Amir normally starts off in the year. Is the one that starts off the Ramadan Tassel before some other lecturers will uh, key in. Uh, and they normally record it and beam it out. Now, when they now told him, the Ramadan people told him, said, but he's already agreed to be here. So tomorrow he's going to do the recording here, inshallah. The learning people are very lucky. You know, because it makes it easy, because already the audiovisual people that will do the recording are here. So. Zindaba. So, so that recording is going to take place in this hall. Amir is going to do it here. And all of you are the audience. Normally he uses Lagos audience. Now he's going to use Quora audience. In fact, he's going to use Nigeria audience because all of you are all over. You are from all over Nigeria. You know. So um, the audiovisual people are saying they want to have it uh, starting from 9. And it will end at 10, inshallah, because our program, closing ceremony program, starts at 10. So you people, as soon as you f finish your meal, please finish in time, so that by quarter to nine, we are already set. So by the time our meal comes in about 10 or five minutes to nine, uh, before the Odovia uh, people put the CP cars and all those things around him, we already meet the audience. Ready, please. Don't let anybody come and be calling you, you know, and no loitering about. Don't, uh, we want to give the impression to the Amir that you have been very serious. None of us was going to, none of us was sleeping in the mosque while lecture was going on. None of us was going visiting the toilet like that. So please be here seated by quarter, 10 minutes to 9 at most. Seated. So by the time he comes, he meets us there and he can have his lecture, and as, he's, as soon as he finishes the Ramadan tafsir, uh, we will have a five minutes break for them to change the banner to this one again, and then we can have a closing ceremony. Inshallah, we hope that uh, if we start at 10, the closing ceremony will end by 12, so that those who can still travel will travel. In fact, we expect almost everybody to be able to travel. The organizer told me they are not making provision for your dinner. <laughs> So, but please, uh, uh, we'll have it finished by 12, and then we can disperse. Jazakum Allah Hairan, Aksar and Jazan.